Good day, viewers. You're welcome to our interview segment on crime fighters. Today, we're in the office of a very fine officer that has um, been in the helm of affairs of security in Lagos State. I'm talking about Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Command, Mr. Marvel Akpoibo. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Please, can you introduce yourself to the members of the public that have no idea of the office you hold? Well, I'm Marvel Akpoibo, like you already said. I'm the Commissioner of Police in charge of Lagos State Police Command. It has been brilliant tackling security in Lagos State. How has it been like so far? Well, the job of policing is not an easy one. And um, that of Lagos is, you know, is not an exception. In fact, Lagos is being a very large state in terms of population and the geography area. Of course, you know, the challenges are there. But by the very grace of God, we are moving ahead and uh, crime is being reduced on a daily basis. And we are almost getting to a zero level. That's our, mission. That's our target area. Okay, you, you mentioned challenges now in yeah. what you just said. Um, can you specify the challenges that the Nigerian police force, especially the Lagos State Command, is experiencing? Yes, if you were talking about uh, fighting crime, uh, there are, of course there are challenges. One, there are so many criminogenic factors. Um, we're talking about a city with a population of about 18 million people. Uh, unemployment uh, rate is high. Um, Graduates have been torn up by universities and um, they don't have employment, so they are on the street. Um, so these are all these are problems. Poverty is another, another factor uh, we must contend with. So all these are criminal factors and um, they set the ball rolling for crime, the tribe. Uh, but Lagos, um, with our partnership with the Lagos State government and the people of Lagos State, we have been able to uh, stem um, the crime rate with the logistics we have in Lagos State and the commitment and the zeal the officers and men are exhibiting, um, uh, we are winning the battle. But according to the IG, he has said that no officer should carry arms while in Mufti, especially um, why should it now be them on Okada carrying guns? How do well, you that, see that? that? That scenario is not, um, it's not uh, recorded in Lagos. Uh, in Lagos State, we have a um, good number of patrol vehicles provided by the state government. Security trust fund, we going up there. So no policeman has any cause to mount to Kada uh, with rifle. That will happen elsewhere than other Lagos. Um, also, um, the ID study is very, very clear. On no account was any military rifle in Mufti. And uh, of course, the punishable is an act that is punishable. So nobody will take the risk of um, being multi and then you'll be found with a rifle. It's not in Lagos State. The directive is very clear, it's unambiguous, and all the officers and men are aware of this directive, and nobody will take the risk of doing that because you'll be apprehended and dealt with instantly. Okay, so um, this brings me to my question. During the conferences that we had over the months, the IG also gave an order that from January, all vehicles with covered plate numbers and um, um, or without plate numbers must not be seen on the roads. But by now, we're still seeing things like that, especially bank officials carrying pilots, one pilot, two. And this order has been given clearly. What is the Lagos State Command doing about that? Uh, again, I will say that we don't have such in Lagos State. All the area commanders and DPs are all out. If any vehicle is found with the plate number covered, of course, you'll be apprehended. What about sirens? Um, if anyone is found on research, we will apprehend them also. Okay. And then, um, of course, sirens are not no longer... The government said there's no even blue siren. Uh, you can see tranquility in Lagos. So, um, I wouldn't want to discuss what is maybe um, predominant in other areas. Uh, let's look at Lagos as it is and discuss issues that relate to Lagos. In Lagos State, sirens are seldomly used unless it's a fire outbreak or the police is hurried to a scene of crime and they need to get there early. But indiscriminate use of silence is no longer being um, uh, done by anybody. Uh, even special escorts, they, 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 they drive these you know, escort uh, vehicles without signing in Lagos State. Okay, sir, the case of bank robberies, how is the command tackling this in Lagos? Well, bank robberies in Lagos has um, 
gradually become a thing of the past. Because each time they tried to do so, where they, they met with the brick wall, we got the men now with the given a fact. Okay. Uh, we have APCs and we're well equipped. We will never, we will never allow that Lagos state. And they know they, those who are involved in it. They know that uh, it will be a perilous venture to come to Lagos to carry out such as a act. Okay, I would like to find out if the banks have complied with the order that the IG gave concerning the um, CCTV cameras and um, other the bullion van that he asked them. Yeah, to yeah I think they are, they are complying, <coughs> but I have not gone out to see. But I know they are complying because if they don't comply, we don't have men as the IG. Okay. okay, you have this authority, you have this aura around you that you are, you, are, you are capable of doing the job. Have you instilled this moral on the officers that work with you? Well, every officer in Lagos knows that um, we, are, we have, uh, as a matter of policy, uh, going back on uh, effective policy. Uh, when I came on board, my, I wrote a division statement of um, zero tolerance for crime in Lagos State. And uh, that's being used as a benchmark now. So every DPO knows that he is a commissioner of police in his division. And he owes me an explanation if any crime takes place there. So everybody's sitting up, <coughs> all has on deck to ensure the safety of life and property in the state. Concerning erring officers <laughs> that have done something that is punishable, what punishments have you meted out on, on, on people? Of that... course, we have our own, <coughs> we have our procedures. Okay. Um, we have the antibodies, we have the escorts. If you are caught demanding money from, um, from people on the road, motorists mm -hmm. will be arrested and detained and uh, tried not the room. We have our procedures. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, please kindly give the public some security tips, you know, ensuring the safety of their lives and property in Lagos <coughs> State. The responsibility of protecting lives and property is the responsibility of every Nigerian, and in particular of every location. Um, the philosophy of community policing dictates that we must work in partnership. Sure. So members of the public have a responsibility to alert us if they suspect any movement or anybody living in the neighborhood whose uh, means of livelihood is not um, very certain. Uh, they can give us the information. We have information boxes all over the place. The idea is given us, we have located them strategically. So they have access to those information boxes without telling us the identity. Okay. And we have warned repeatedly that landlords who want to eject their tenants who have not paid should not use those boxes as um, uh, a channel to carry out uh, dangers. Okay. And it's working. And then last words to your officers and men of the command. My advice to all of them is they should keep on the good work. Um, the only reward for uh, hard work is more work. <laughs> if you are working hard, um, like today now, Lagos is very peaceful. Everybody wants to come to Lagos to do business. That means we must double our effort to ensure uh, the sustenance yes. of um, the tranquility we have in Lagos. Like during the Christmas and New Year uh, period, of course, Lagos was quiet. It was everybody could almost touch the peace that was in Lagos. Sure. Uh, we have our men all over the place, and um, we didn't record any crime uh, during the period. Okay. So we have decided to sustain uh, this temple. Society is dynamic. Crime is dynamic. You wouldn't say because there's no crime now, then you got arrest the OAS. No, just as we are strategizing, the criminals may be evolving new trends, trend, new patterns, trend. and we're doing the same thing. Okay. So we're not resting. So officers are advised to continue to work hard uh, because um, there's a reward for doing well. Thank you very much for You're having welcome. us. You're welcome. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed this interview with um, the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State Command, Mr. Marvel Apoibo. It has been interesting talking with him. And I hope you've learned one or two security tips from him. You need to watch around and see who and who is around you is he a perpetrator of crime? If you are not sure, you must let the police know. They are your friends. As they say, the police is your friend. And policing, we all have to put our hands together, you know, to make this work and make Lagos a peaceful state. 
My name is Lucia Ikeriashi. Until I come your way, same time next week. Bye for now.